Oh yes! It's that Friday feeling and I feel like singing even though I can't sing. But it's alright because I'm not here for a singing competition. I'm not even going to try and sing. It's just I'm happy because it's Friday. And because all you guys and girls are sitting there waiting to see what I mess up. I mean what I build or what I do this time on this video. Um, brilliant last Friday. We didn't, we didn't have the, we had the Friday feeling but it was the live feeling. Um, Stuart from Hobby King, which was nice enough to join us. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't seen that, then uh, I'll whack a little thing that you can press to go and see that. Um, and it was all about the Lancaster version three. Stuart Warren, what a hero he was. Um, he still is. <laughs> Not that he was, he is. Um, you know, we had some lovely giveaways, and we even Hobby King from Stuart even gave away a plane. Fantastic. So what are we doing today? Well, we are going to build. The Lancaster. Come on! Alrighty, back at a weird place to put a camera. I don't know. I was thinking about doing a top shot, the overhead cam, but not today. No, why? I don't know. I just thought, well, maybe, you know, it'd be better this way. So, I don't know. We'll see. Right now, I did uh, was playing about this morning um, off camera. Um, just to get rid of a bit of paint. So as you can see, I got some rid of paint in there and in there. Um, I accidentally got a bit <laughs> got some scratch there, and I've got a scratch there. But I'm not too worried about it. Why am I not too worried about? It? Well, because um, we're going to do a little paint um, painting um, session video um, to show you about some paints. Now the sort of paints we're going to be using, I'll just quickly show you just quickly is the uh, Vallejo now Val -E -G, uh, Vallejo why do they make why can't they just call it paint or something but anyway it's the company it's the company that make it um, Vallejo 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 I don't know but this is the sort of thing they do they give like they do these kits um, so this this particular one is the RAF colors day fighters 1941 to 1945 um, and you know it gives you sort of the planes that it does and bits and pieces now I've got quite a few of these kits and I've also got um, some randoms and um, you can buy the, the mill set but it's all acrylic paint and you'll find that in there as most uh, colors uh, would, would, would be is that you could find these tans and greens um, so and I've got blacks so once we paint this, I will then put some um, uh, Minwax to protect it a bit more. Um, I don't know how much weight it's going to put on there, if it's going to be too much. I guess I will find out <laughs> the Maiden. Um, I'm going to keep it as a hand tosser. Oh yes, we like tossing planes. Um, so I'm not going to have the undercarriage. Uh, I'm going to keep it as Stuart envisioned the V3 to be. Um, what else do we do? Yes, I've then I've cut the, you know, not cut it. I've got the tape in there to remove the paint. Um, same as the edge there. I've got a bit too excited and, and done the, 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 this edge, but that's okay. I can get a bit of paint in there and I've done that one as well, which I got a bit excited and took a bit of paint off the edge, but it's all right. We don't worry about this sort of thing because we know it can be fixed. Maybe. It will, it can be, it can be. I've got this great tape and it is awesome tape um, that I will show you that basically doesn't take the paint off the plane. And that's what you need, isn't it? I mean, you know, you see the paint take, you know, there's the tape normal sort of, uh, it's kind of like your household uh, tape, uh, masking tape. And that's, that's great for taking paint off as is uh, duct tape or whatever tape you like to call it. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build it today anyway and hopefully um well we we will do on the video we're going to do um how to quickly set up the differential thrust 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 it's a friday i'm allowed to mess up with my words <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm down here by the way i'm I've got just about i should have really spoken about this but i do waffle on you know i do um anyway we do the differential differential thrust um um show you just how quickly to set that up just so it gives you the same idea because um, I've been playing about with it and um, yeah I've, I think I've got it going I haven't I, I use the FR Sky X10 as you know um, but um, 
uh, we, we've done it sort of as if I was going to use my X9D Plus. Um, so yeah, we'll go through that later on. So if it does go a long video, I'm going to put in there some um, some points, you know, whatever you call them. Um, so um, some time points. So if you don't want to listen to me waffle on, you just hit that button and it will take you to where you want to take it, take it to, take you to. So you're saying to you, well, Chris, if you're going to do that, then you might as well spray paint. Well, I don't know, because that's going to take, you know, I don't know. It'd be too long for you. I think, you know, I don't want to bore you to tears. You know, when you see, oh, my God, he's uploaded a three-hour video. <laughs> no, 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 no. So what we're going to do first, right, so we're going to move the fuselage out of the way. And this is the re one of the reasons I wanted to do overhead, really. But as you can see, I mean, these, I've got a whole two bullet holes in here. Someone's been... Well, everyone's still getting shot. Everyone's trying to shoot me in here. What, what are you pl I reckon the planes come to life at night time and they're shooting each other. Ricochets. Anyway, the, you, this mat is great, these mats. Um, not just for, just for soldering and gluing and everything else, but the lines. This is the lines because I was looking at this and thinking, um, wouldn't it be great if I actually got the right one? No. <laughs> Is it, where am I going? It's this, where am I going? There's that, no, that's the wrong one. This is, this is the right one. What am I doing? These are really simple to put in, actually. You know, they're very nice just to snugly put in there. Um, but the, um, you know, to make sure it's getting straight, you know, I was thinking, you know, because it does wobble on the end, and I did want it straight because, you know, things can move and bits and pieces. And, of course, the phone goes. Oh, why didn't I turn the phone off? And back in the place. <laughs> Right, so as I was so rudely interrupted, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to stick these with foam tack. Now, I like foam tack because it's got a bit of flex in it. Um, I could quickly glue these with um, um, a foam safe CA glue or something like that. Uh, but I like foam tack. Foam tack strong um, and it's also flexible. So, you know, if I'm, if I'm hand tossing this and, and she lands on her belly and, you know, I... I might hit the, the edge, then um, I want it to be flexible rather than snap off. Um, I could always add a dab of uh, glue, um, CA glue, because I got these, and this is another thing, see, I wanted to save all this for a video. Now, you're looking at that, a bag, you're saying, this is, what's that, Chris? It's a bag of jelly worms. It's not, it's not, it's a bag of, I don't know if you're going to see this, this is going to be interesting. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's a bag. Can you see? Can you see that? I don't know if you'd be able to see that because it's even visible. But you can roughly see what I'm showing you, aren't you? But yeah, basically they are. I mean, there is a name to them actually. It's called Precise Micro Butters or something. I don't know. That's a weird language. But yeah, well, basically all it is is that when you've got glue, you can you you can put it on here. I mean, these are small ones. Cut this off a bit, and then precisely glue where you want to get to rather than me sort of like putting the CA glue and hoping for the best and it covers in CA, is that you could put these little, they're just little pipes, glue pipes, and they're throwaway ones. Um, so you can put them on your on the, on the end. I'd cut it probably about there, and then you can sort of do a nice little glue. So we'll try that later on as well. Uh, but they're, they're cheap as, cheap as chips. So anyway, back to here. So we will glue this, and then I'm just going to put this across the lines, vertical and horizontal lines, so then I know that, you know, I'll have to eye it a bit because obviously it's kind of like, um, it's not like level, 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 level. <laughs> but at least it would give me a rough indication that yes, that is straight. Welcome to the overhead cam, up close and personal. Who is that geezer? Where's he come from? So I decided I've got to do a few things. So let's do the overhead cam thing. Right, so I just... <laughs> I just dropped something and these just went but they they seem to be okay they're stuck anyway well, that's the main thing now something I forgot to mention because I did get, I have got the Bible um, I have got the Bible I did print it off you yes bad me but I like I like a, a paper copy still um, I'm old-fashioned maybe in my little booklet of planes but uh, yes you can uh, you could do it on your iPad that is online at, at uh, Hobby King so it's good but on there we need to um, separate just here. Obviously, I've not realised this when we've done the unboxing, but <laughs> just here, and um, there's like a foam piece. Uh, let's see if we can get it in shot. There's there's a little foam piece in there you need to cut. Um, so that's what you've got to do. Just take a slither 
Am I in shot yet? Just take a, a long knife and do a slither and then another slither and that will uh, give the uh, uh, the elevator some some much needed space. Now I've probably gone a bit too much on there uh, but there you go you can you can tighten them up uh, sorry loosen them up <laughs> uh, once again we could put some blend them across there to keep the uh, because they've not got, uh, they haven't got any, um, uh, what are they called, hinges. Um, but it should be fine. I mean, you know, we could say we could put blend them on there anyway after the maiden to see if there's any uh, issue. So I've gone a bit too uh, mad on the cut. But I think what it was is that when I unboxed this, I went, Rah! as you do. And um, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> But you know, this is always read the manual. You know, download the manual, look at it on site, which I haven't done. And there you go. There's a slither. You only need a slither. So that was a lot better, ish. I think it's just got where a bit of gump in there, and it's. Uh, I do try and do this uh, in shots, so you can see. There you go. Right, so that's not too bad. There you go. It's about the same. So that moves nice and freely. But that's something that I forgot to do. Um, so I just should have done. Um, when it's stuck on. Now, in the booklet, it also says that on here, if it wants to uh, focus, is probably because it's. In fact, let me get my. Let me get a pointy stick. Pointy stick. Here we go. Time for here. Hi on here. If everyone's uh, wondering why I do that, by the way, it's off Battle of Britain. Anyway, on their map. Here. Yeah, yeah. All right. So <laughs> this <line laughs> this line here. That goes all the way around, all the way down here, all the way around here. It's got to be cut. Yes, sir. On all of them. Alrighty, back. Now, I hunted high and low and I didn't have a pair of scissors, so I didn't record it because it was just a, a mishmash. I mean, I had to cut this down with a, a rotary. Um, I'll get that in shot. There you go. So yeah, so it's a bit of a mishmash, but that will fit in there anyway. And then I've cut this down. Um, it was a bit hard to hear. I, I was using all sorts of implements. <laughs> um, so all I can offer say to you is that make sure you've got a hobby, hobby scissors or something. You know, something that can get into there and bits and small. I mean, it does fit on the front. I mean, it's fine. Um, as I say, I'm going to be. Um, there she is. There you go. She's okay when she's stuck down. That, that one doesn't need cutting, that just goes straight on there as well. Uh, maybe the edge, me trimming down where it's got like that curve edge. But I'll probably just leave that be. Um, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I can always uh, put some foam put around there if I, in the future when I, and, and spray it. So that's not a big problem. Um, so we've got, uh, what you have to do as well is that you have to make two holes, 2.5 millimeter holes for the guns. Now you've got a set of guns, machine guns here. Um, so, it's, well, we can get two in here. I mean, I know it's, I do apologize. It's not, not big and close, is it really? I've probably gone for a different angle, but you can see what I'm doing. It's all good. Right, so let's get a couple of machine guns. Bop, 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 bop. If that's what it sounds like. It doesn't sound like that, does it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what did you used to do as a kid? Come on. Right, so there's a, a couple of lovely machine guns. Lovely. Oh, yes. Well, there's probably so much you could do inside here, really, wasn't there? If, uh, um, if, uh, if, if you wanted to. So, that, that, so we've got to make two holes in the centre lines. Um, so I think the best thing we're to do is, is eyeball them. Put the gun through that. Oh. Well, that's really weird, isn't it? Because now that's shooting to the side. Don't know why, unless it's me, who knows. So I'm just going to make some modifications there with the Dremel. Bit of a weird one, that one. I can show you. There you go. I mean, I've got to stick them in, but there you go. There's your guns. 
Now I have, what you, well I have got this sort of canopy glue. You can see it? So it basically dries clear. Um, so you can see it goes on white as you put it on. Um, I think I'm going to leave the guns. <laughs> also as you can say I've, I've scratched here as well the paint so I've knocked the paint. It's totally my fault. Um, and I've got the little turret that I bodgedly cut down. I mean really get yourself some scissors when you do this. Um, so I've got to play around with this and and put some guns and bits and pieces there. I mean I've actually stuck the tails on. They're just drying at the moment. But you can see you know, I need to I need to I need to do a bit more finesse but I think what we need to do and while I'm hit while I'm sort of got this angle and um, why that's drying is that we can I think we can stick the wings on and get the electronics in which has got the UBC UBEC and um, I'll put a little I'll get my receiver to whack into get my receiver to whack into this and we can get the uh, in fact I need to zoom out a bit more on that there you go you probably just it's, it's really precariously placed <laughs> there you go the camera there we go I think it's uh I haven't got my new my usual thing but there you go you'll be able to see anyway it's all good it's all a bit of a wobbler this today isn't it? <laughs> but hey these things are sent to test us now <clears throat> there is a uh, um, oh that's one thing we've got to do actually when you because we're not going for retracks there is uh, some weight in here so wait a minute. <laughs> Try not to break the fuselage at the same time. Wow, that's stuck in good. I must have got I must have got a glued one for the day. That's kind of the got the glue off the edge, it's just it's Totally stuck to the bottom of the. Oh yeah. So you can get it out. So there, there. Let's just stick that there. Look, see what I mean? Totally, totally glued. Brilliant, though. It was really good that they done that. And the glue, but getting it out was a bit of fun. So there's a bit of lead. Probably got a bit of lead poisoning there. <laughs> Alrighty, I got the wings. We're good. So before we uh, before we, the, we put the wings on, I think it'd be a good time to put the uh, the servo arm on the ailerons. Now you get a bit of bag here, bits and pieces which we know. Uh, we're going to need those two screws. Uh, what is that? That's the throttle splitter and that's an aileron splitter. So we're going to need those. These are, oh, I don't know what the Allen keys for, but we'll go for that anyway. So let's just put that over there. Where is my Magno tree? I don't know, put it somewhere. I think it's still got parts of the other plane. So let's uh, let's plug this in. Let's, uh, oh, I've got my servo tester at the ready. There we go, neutral. Would help if you plug the same things in. Right, I just want to see, because it does say on the uh, control horn, to router out things because they're not the right half size holes, which they're not. Um, so okay, let's. Um, let me get a drill bit. Hang on. Okay, got me drill. So um, it says it says on the top one. Right. So let's let's make holes. I think it's on the top. Is it on the top? Looking at the uh, yes, it's at the top one. So let's uh, let's drill this hole through. Lovely, 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 lovely. Right. So the the curved edge, the curved edge. If I can get that in shot, is needs to be in this side. Also at the top, and bend. And you can see that needs a lot of winding in. So, a lot of winding in. We're winding. We're winding. You're yeah, winding me up. Here we go. Stop all that. Here we go. What's that there? How much we got? Wow. Okay. Let's uh, let's take that out. Let's take it out and wind it up. Let's get a pair of pliers. Here we go. 
I told you I'm in that singy Friday feeling mood. Or is it silly? <laughs> right, that's, uh, that, that's probably going to be around about that. So let's stick it in there. Uh, there. Oh, he's not far off, is he? Oh, hang on. Let's uh, let's hold the metal. Oh, really? Uh, am I that jammy? Never. I've never been that jammy in my life. I'll tell you what, that ain't bad. Now the console. What do you think? Now here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh come on, get your focus. Level is the level is the devil. But here it's slightly, slightly, slightly not. It could be just a bit of foamage, a bit of foamage bend. Look at that. I think I'm happy with that. So uh, let's get this. Let's get these uh, in, uh, wings in the fuselage. Okay. So let's get the cables through. And I think what I'll do is I'll pull out this. Uh, Ah, that's what uh, I keep. <laughs> I keep going on about stuff, don't I? I was doing the strap, wasn't I, before I done the metal workout. So you have like some Velcro here, which is where the battery used to go. Um, uh, where when you got some landing gear. So because we're not, we don't need it. So I need to cut it off there because this gets caught. Um, and then with some trusty set of pliers. Why don't I leave it in? Because I don't know. I don't want it in. You can put it out. If you try and pull that out without that, that gets all caught for some reason. There you go. That was that was what I started to do early on before I remembered it's about the weight. Right. Wait a minute. All right, so the elevator I want to bring back here because I don't want anything in the way when we're sticking in here. Now, uh, we can, this can be glued. This can be glued, but I don't want to. I want to take the wings off for now, so. Let's get the right wing. So you've got all your cables there. You've got the ailerons and the throttle and the ESC. I so say we'll, uh, how much cable? We've got quite a bit of cable on there. Uh, we've got the two spar holes, uh, just about to see there. We'll put the spar in once I put this, this wing in. So let's just uh, shut that door. Let's just stick one of the wings in. Um, making sure that I've got all the, the cables out the way, which I have, and that fits in really kind of sexy. That shirt, he says. Yeah, that looks like it's. Wow, that's heavy. <laughs> I think that's pushed in all the way. Oh, there you go. Right, there you go. That's nice and pushed in. So, with that said, um, let's put the spars in. I have got the spars over here. So we've got our two rods, the little one and big one. And let's put these in, presumably. Yep, so the long one goes at the front and the small one goes to the back. So small one, big one. <coughs> right. Let's open this door now and I want to get the cables out the way. So let me just lift this wing up. I'm just being lazy. Here we go, that one. And that one. And that one. I can't get my fingers in there, that's why. There we go, so that's them. They can sit over there. And then we get our next wing. It's, it gets really kind of big when, <laughs> when this gets in here. It's lovely, absolutely lovely. I love it, love it. So let's, um, I'm hoping you can still see what I'm doing. So I just want to get the cables in um, above the, the spars. So just push them in a bit. And they'll all centre themselves. And then if I get my fingers in here. Chubby fingers are never good. They're really not. There we go. There's one, two, three, and I should have another one anywhere. Any takers? Any takers? Have we got another one? Here we go. Right. Boom. Right. So now I can give it the nice push that it deserves. Boom. And there you go. They, they are together. 
together forever. So if I go back a bit, so if I go, so back a bit, there. Right, okay, now it's in the hole now. Yeah, it was just, it was just uh, a bit too far forward. So maybe if I just, um, if I put this screw in and let it drop, and then kind of, don't let it drop that much <laughs> because it was on the, the foam. If I just push it in, it don't go too mad. Come on, there we go. There it is. Okay, so it's a bit of faffing about. A bit of faffing. We like faffing. So, you know, it's my bad. I mean, those don't, those in there, if I get that cable out of the way, they don't quite meet. So, but the sides are almost flush. The, yeah. Okay, maybe glue. But once it's in, as long as you get them going in tight, which they're lovely and tight, I think that's yeah, that's it, that's a good one. Oh my golly gosh, we have run out of time. Can you believe it? How annoying it is for you guys and girls. I'm really sorry. Um, I did take the film in the SD card to see how long I had left and I cut out lots of me waffling and it was still sort of like nearly 30 minutes long and it would have been an hour and um, probably another 30 minutes I would have thought so. Um, now I have recorded uh, putting the, uh, the the transmitter and everything I'm up to that part I probably got another sort of 10 15 minutes so it's going to be a struggle to get this done um, I thought this would be a, a one hit day done but you know where I'm maybe taking the time talking through what I'm doing I know there's other people out there that probably done this in the day how they don't I, I do I don't know but I try to go through all the bits and pieces just in case there's something I've missed and you think well I'm, I'm trying to do mine and that's missing or uh, I can't do that probably so hence taking so long so I can only apologize to everyone I know it's that Friday feeling come on <sighs> really I thought it wasn't gonna take that long anyway I've got quite far now I can't do another video for tomorrow because tomorrow day or tomorrow night should I say is the first of every other week of a Saturday night live show and it's all about quads and people that I call quadaholics. Um, you've probably seen the, the, the little thumbnail up saying about the live show. Uh, basically, I've you know I've been trying to get interested into quads as well um, for a while now. Um, when I built my Cine Whoop, if you remember, um, and it's just I don't know enough about it. Well, I don't know enough about flying fixed wings, but you know I like to know a bit about everything so I can get out there now. A couple of people down the field. Um, which I call a quadraholics because they're down every day flying at sunset for at least four batteries worth um, near enough every day uh, and they're going to come on the show and they're going to build a quad and uh, that we can all build and take you through every other week we'll be doing it and they'll take you through the different stages of, of setting it up um, and, and flying it and all their knowledge which I think a lot of people would like to know definitely me so yeah, so when am I going to do this next video? I don't want to wait until next weekend. Um, so there will be an extra, I think. I'm going to try, okay? I'm going to try. Um, I've got to see what's going on next week. If not, it will be next Friday. Um, that Friday feeling, so I can only apologise if you wanted to see this fully uh, working and everything else, which I wanted to do today. Um, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, what can I do? What can I say? But uh, anyway, listen, um, some of you can still fly over the pond and, and other random places. Um, so if you are, keep safe. Uh, the rest of you, get on building. Have some fun. Um, you know, get into it. You know, get a model, uh, you know, whether it be balsa, foam or whatever, and have some fun in your own hangar. So um, until tomorrow, if you're, if, if you're going to pop by the quads, if not, it'll be next Friday. But until then, thanks for stopping by. Keep safe, hashtag wear a mask, and uh, we'll see you next time. Ta-da, bye-bye.